Good morning, modern steaders. It's just gonna be me today. Gina is out getting a CAT scan. So, it's only gonna be me here today, but luckily she's able to make a girl's trip out of it. So, she's gonna be having fun, even though she's got a CAT scan to get done. So, I'm glad that it's able to work out that way. But we're gonna be here working on the barns. We are so close to getting the roof on. While Gina's not here, it'd be nice to get the roofs done, but, it's a two-person job, because I know she doesn't like doing that part. She doesn't like even watching me on the roofs, but I'm gonna need her to hold the tin while I'm up there. So we're gonna have to wait for her, but we need to start working on the interior walls between the live, one of the livestock stalls and then the run. And I've kind of come up with a design in my head, so we're gonna work it out, get it built in there, and then we can get the dividers up. And I'm thinking next it's either the roof or the doors. And then we gotta put our finish on it. And they're gonna be ready for the animals. I mean, some small little touches, but for the majority of, oh, we got our divider walls that go in the center that we gotta put in. That is correct. So we're getting close. I think we got like three or four more steps. It is going to be nice. I guess I don't need this today because we're making our own way. Uh oh, they're looking for us. All right, let's take this two by four down before I whack my head on it. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Gina whacked her head on. Like just square right into it. The day after she said, don't walk into that. Yeah, she did. Luckily, these Jamaica Cottage Shop kits come with some extra lumber. They come with some 2x4s for temporary bracing, and we're at the stage where we can take down all the temporary bracing, so we have all the extra lumber we need to build the walls the way we want them.
now this door is just for our goats to get in and out of this stall. I'm just trying to think of how big we want it. It's 24 inches wide, plenty big enough that way for our goats. We don't want to do it too big because in the winter time, when it's cold out or if it's windy, you don't want a huge hole in here. And I'm thinking we'll probably end up getting something that drapes it so the wind doesn't blow through it, kind of like what they have in the freezers section of like the back side of a um, grocery store or a big walk-in cooler kind of thing, like a curtain. I think we'll make something like that, but I still don't want to have it too big. This is three feet, which is plenty tall enough, but I might offset. No, yeah, that is. That's three feet. I might go 38 just to offset. Yeah, let's go 38. Give our goats a nice little entrance way to get in. Double header, just because we can. Yeah, let's go do this to the other side. So that way we remember exactly how we did it. All right, now that we have both of the interior walls framed up, we can start doing this part.
I am back. I had a CT scan yesterday. Just made the day into a girl day. Did a little shopping. Made the best of it. So just waiting to hear back about that and then see if I have to have any other further testing. But now the garden needs to be watered. Everything is looking good. Cut me some lettuce. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I can use that for it. Oh, even I can sit. Look at that. I love it. Hope so. I like it. That was cool too. Yeah, we gotta finish doing our upper divider and then we can put our lower kickboard plates up. These are for because they're stalls, so which makes sense. But we're gonna have one of these a feed room, so we're gonna still do it. But we're gonna have to figure out something for the in between, like a screen or plexiglass or something like that. prison cell. Nice. We are making this part of the wall custom. So when you get your Jamaica shot, when you get your Jamaica cottage shop kits, they come with extra two by fours for bracing. We are able to take those down and we have some extra uh, 36 inch long by six inch wide hemlock for our kick plate. So we're gonna make the wall, the divider wall go all the way to the ceiling. So that way we don't have to worry about critters going back and forth. Six 
and a half to the short side. We got this side done. We're gonna go over to the other barn, get everything else done. And we're gonna do the full petition all the way up to the ceiling on both of them. So this way, if we want to use them for feed on this side, it's not open to the outside. We'll end up covering this with like a sheet of plastic or something, and then we don't gotta worry about critters getting through to where the feed and everything is. And then if we're using them for a livestock stall, they'll still have this pot open in between the two. I like that. Looks so good. It looks good, huh? Yeah. Alright, I just drove the mule over here. I'm gonna finally go ahead and pull that garlic. And if you didn't see the last time, it's got overridden by weeds. It's all of a sudden they were there was no weeds and then a whole bunch of weeds came. So hopefully I can find all the garlic in this mess. Ideally you should weed so that the garlic has it's all the energy is going into the garlic and not weeds and all that. But you do what you can do and this is what we could do this year. It is definitely a warm one out today. So we're gonna come inside and spend a little while putting some outlets in upstairs instead of working out in the hot sun. Really, really in there. I 
guess I should have wore gloves. I got the majority of them pulled. It's super hot out and I guess I should have wore gloves. My other hands were, but it's, it's hurting, making blisters and not feeling that great. So I got most of them pulled. The ones that are left, I can come back. They need to cure for a few weeks so that the outsides can harden. You get the dirt off, the loose dirt off, and then the outsides can harden so that they last you all winter and hopefully all the way up until your next harvest of garlic, which would be this time of year. Pretty good size ones, medium, good. So overall, I think it's a great harvest, especially since we just put some soil down that was just, I think, loom. And then we just planted in it and it was really wet. We never watered, never weeded. We put down some hay and then left it. outlets done in our bedroom and the office that's connected to our bedroom and then I started doing some outlets in the sitting room and then I ran out of outlets so this is where we're gonna end the video I need to run to Lowe's get some more outlets for next time we have some free time we can finish up the outlets upstairs and I need to get a couple of skylights for the barn so we can stop putting the roof on tomorrow this is where we're going to end today's video thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey you guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you right back here in the next video bye